Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class for the second elementary grade. Our textbook is Weekend 2 and today inshallah we will cover Unit 3 Wild Animals. The lesson is Phonics can be seen on page 25. This lesson will be presented by me, teacher Mazen Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz Al-Aqil. So let's begin. Quick revision on our last lesson. In our last lesson, we had an interesting exercise where I ask you to listen and point and say these two words because these two words have the same letters but with different sounds. And after this, what we did is that we listen to two uh, or uh, four other words and we match each one of them to either of these sound. Is it sound number one or sound uh, number two. So let's do a, a quick exercise on this. Let's revise and let's do uh, answer this exercise again. Where I'm going now to uh, read the number one so you recognize the sound and also I will read the number two so you also going to recognize the sound. And after this you're going to say it with me and then we're going to read these other four words and after this, we're going to match them, each one of them, to uh, uh, the appropriate uh, sound. So let's start. Uh, the first one here, we do have this word uh, that starts with the word head. Head. So here we have letters E and A have the sound of head. Say with me, head. Head head. This is the first sound. Now let us move on to the second sound and listen to it carefully and see how it is sound. Number two, read, read, read. Say it with me. Read, read. Very good. So here the first sound is head. The second sound is read, head, read. So although that uh, there are the same letters, E and A, and here we have also E and A, but they sound different. The first one is pronounced as head. The second one is pronounced as read, read. So we, uh, we have listened to these two sounds. And now what we're going to do is that you're going to listen to four other sounds. You are going to listen to four other sounds. And what I want you to do is to match each word that you listen to. And you say that this word or this uh, 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 sound matches sound number one in head or matches sound number two in read. So let's begin by reading or listening to the first uh, word. So here we have, this is the first word, let's uh, listen to it. The first word here is feather, feather, say it with me, feather, feather. So the word feather, which sound is similar to the word feather? Is it the sound in number one, head, or the sound in number two, read? So, what do you think? Is it number one or number two? Feather do matches the first sound. Feather, head. Feather, head. They do have similar sounds. Now, let's listen to the uh, second word. The second word is beach. Beach. Say with me. Beach. Beach. So, what do you think? What is uh, this word uh, similar to which one of these sounds? Is it uh, uh, peach in number one, in head, or in number two, in read? Which one do you think? It is, of course, matches the sound in number two, read. Peach, read. Peach, read. Now, let's listen to the third uh, sound, or the third word. The third word is meat meat say with me meat meat very good 
So what do you think? The word meat. Which sound is similar to the word meat? Is it number one, head, or number two, read? It, of course, matches number two. Meat, read. Meat, read. Now let's listen to the last one. The last uh, word is bread. Bread. Say with me, bread. Bread. So what do you think? The word bread matches which sound? Is it the first sound in head or the second sound in read? It, of course, we said that it matches the first sound in read. So, same letters, but with two different sounds. The first one is short E, as in head, bread, and feather. And the second one is long E, as in read, peach, and meat. Now, with the second exercise, uh, last time what we did is that we listened and pointed and also we said and uh, matches uh, word with words with U or words that have U and E at the end. So what we did is that we listened to different words and we did match them with two sounds. The first sound is with words that has only one U and with words that has U and E at the end. So let's listen again to these words and then we can continue to uh, match each word uh, uh, with the, the appropriate sound. So we said that with the first one, you says a, uh, a, uh, top. Say with me, you says a, uh, a, uh, top. And you says U, U, tube. And U says U, U, tube. So here we have two different sounds with the letter U. Now, I'm going to read these words. I'm going, uh, I want you to repeat with me, and then we're going to match them. So the first word is cup. Say with me, cup, cube cube uniform uniform bus bus duck duck huge huge very good now let's start with the first word and trying to match it with the appropriate sound the first word is cup what is the sound that matches uh, or that we can be heard in the word cup? It is the first one, U, as in tub. And number two, cube. What is the sound that matches this word? It is number two, U, as in tube, as in cube. Very good. And the third word here we have is uniform uniform so what is the word that uh, mat or what is the sound that matches this word we said that it was the first one and now we're going to move to the uh, other uh, part so here we have bus what is the word that matches the sound bus it is the first one excellent and then duck what is the word that matches this uh, one or what is the sound that matches this word duck as in the first U. And then finally we have huge, huge. So what is the sound that matches this word? It is of course the second sound. So here in this lesson we differentiate between the two different sounds of uh, letter U. And also not only this, but we also did learn to a uh, different sound of double O, or words that has two O's in it. We have the long form and we have the short form. So we have uh, the long form in uh, words that has two O's as in food. Food, say with me, food. And as in boot, boot, boot. As, uh, and also as in moon 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 
So these are the words that has long, uh, long uh, form of two O's. And also we have words that has short form, as in book, book, and also as in foot, foot, and as in cook, cook. So we said that we have words with the long form and we have words with the short form. The red one, the red ones are with the long, uh, uh, the long form and the blue ones are with the short form. Now, let's do match each word with its meaning. So, for example, here we have the first one, food, goes with this one. And also, the second word, book, goes with this one. And uh, boot goes with this one. And then we have the word uh, foot, with the short form, goes with this one. And then moon, that goes with this one. And finally, we have the word uh, cook, that goes with this one. So we did learn different sounds of different letters. Sounds with uh, a U and different sounds of U, different sounds of E and A, and different sound of words that has double O's. Now, let's get to know our objectives in today's lesson. Our objectives in today's lesson, we hope that you are go going to comprehend the sounds represented by the letters of the alphabet and also to listen and point and match pictures, words and letters and also to say and read and write the sounds for EA as in peach and head as uh, in duck and UE as in cube and double O's as in book and double O's are in boot. Now, I would like you please to open your books on page 25. I would like you please to open your books on page 25. Now on page 25, you're going to see an uh, exercise similar to this. So what I want you to do in this exercise, we're going to read and number. Then we're going to listen and check. So as you can see here, here we do have three words and each of these words ends with different sound. Each of these words ends with uh, the S letter, but with different sounds. So what we're going to do is that we're going to listen, recognize these sounds, and then after this we're going to read all of, listen to all of these words, and then we're going to match each word with its uh, one of these three sounds. So let's start by listening to the first sound. Number one, the first sound here we have can be uh, heard in the word arms, arms. So the last word here ends with the z sound, z sound. So repeat after me, arms, arms. And the second sound can be heard in the word trunks, trunks, trunks. That ends with s sound that ends with s sound. And the third one goes with the word noses, noses, noses. That ends with the s sound, s. So here we do have three sounds. The first one, z sound, as in arms, and also s sound, as in trunks, and also is sound as in noses. So what we're going to do is that we're going to listen to these six words and then we're going to decide which, uh, which of these sounds matches with these words. So all already we have number one is already answered for you, which is the first one, hebos, which is matches the first sound. Hebos ends with the z sound. Hebos. Now, let's listen to the second uh, word here, and when we listen, we're going to decide whether this word or the end, uh, the sound of, uh, at the end of this word, does it match uh, the first one, or the second one, or the third one. So, the second word here we have is, and say with me, crocodiles, crocodiles. So, what do you think? Crocodiles. 
Which sound of these three sound matches this word, crocodiles? It is, of course, matches the first sound that ends with Z sound, crocodiles. And next here we have, listen and say with me, snakes, snakes, snakes. So, which sound matches this word, snakes? Is it the uh, Z sound or the S sound or the S sound? It is, of course, matches the second one, snakes. And next, here we have, listen and say with me, elephants, elephants, elephants. So what do you think? Elephants. Which sound matches this word? It is, of course, the second one, elephants. And moving on to the uh, other word, which is dresses. Listen and say with me. Dresses. Dresses. So the word dresses matches which sound? It's of course matches the third sound, is. Dresses. And finally we have the word faces. Faces. Say with me. Faces. So what do you think? Faces matches which sound? It is, of course, matches the third uh, sound. Faces as the sound is. So here you go. This is, uh, these are the answers of uh, this exercise, where we listened to three different sounds, and also we did match the words uh, that have similar sounds to these uh, three sounds. And now, Moving on to the uh, last exercise in this uh, page, which is the phonics race. And what we're going to do here is we're going to say and mime words in pairs, and we're going to use these letters, O and O-U and E-A and U and U-E and double O. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say the letters and word that has uh, the same letter. For example, and we can do this as a race. So for example, O-E says rose, rose. This is how we're going to do this exercise. So I did a uh, couple of examples here and I would like you to listen and say with me. And then you can practice this race with your uh, partner or your classmate or even a friend of yours. So the first one, O-E says rose, rose, say with me, O-E says rose, O says hot, hot, say with me, O says hot, hot, E-A says meat, Meat, say with me, E-A says meat, meat. U says bus, bus, say with me, U says bus, bus. U-E says tube, tube, say with me, U-E says tube, tube. O O says boot, boot, say with me, O O says boot, boot. Now, this is a, a race that you can do with your classmate or your partner and try to say the first word and then your partner will come up with a word that has the same letter. And you can switch, he can say or she can say a letter and then you can come up with the word. And now, at the end of this lesson, it's important that you are able to listen, point, and match pictures with words and letters, and also to say, read, and write the sound for E-A as in peach, and E-A as in head, and also U as in duck, and U-E as in cube, and also short uh, double O as in book, and long double O as in boot by yourself. And now we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.